Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get vStreamio app to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process will be pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So without any further ado, the first step you need to take is obviously getting the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. If you already have Downloader and it is properly set up with the developer options, then you can actually skip this step. But if you don't have downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up to the fullest, then follow me. So click on the home button on your remote, get back to the home screen, and here select that button with a magnifying glass icon. And at the bottom you will see a search bar. Let's open it. And then we'll use this on-screen keyboard to start entering the name of the app that we need to get which is, once again, Downloader. So start entering, and as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. We click on Downloader, and now that's the app which you need to get to your device. But now, after you got that orange Downloader app, it's not ready to use yet, obviously, because we'll still have to set it up. To do so, we go back to the home screen of your Fire Stick, and scroll to the right side until you select that button with a gear icon. Then click on My Fire TV, and in there we'll need to turn on developer options for your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you are unable to locate developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button of your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. So yeah, we're clicking on it, and as you can see, now for me, at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That is in my case, because I already had the developer options enabled in the past. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So let's go back a bit. And now the developer options will have appeared for you right here. We open them, make sure to select and turn on the ADB debugging feature, then head to install unknown apps, and there you need to select downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So then, next, we go back to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick. Here it is, let me open it. And there you will be able to locate Downloader, which is set up and ready to use on the Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they are super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost only a couple of bucks per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you would just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to UK right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, 
with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the unloader safely. So we return back to the list of apps on the Fire Stick, locate the unloader and open it up on your device. And then when the app opens here in the downloader home screen, you will see this big search bar appear in the middle. Let's open it and the virtual keyboard will pop out on your screen. We'll be using this keyboard to enter a link, which will allow us to download Streamia to your Fire Stick device. And now the link is going to be streamia.com. So let's enter that together. Once again, it's streamio dot com oopsie made a little typo and here you go there is a link you can see it on your screen right now make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake then this link will not work for you then click on go and while it's loading make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, which will be really useful to you. And then the website will open. We have to click that sandwich button at the top of and in the right corner. So we click on it and then select that green downloads button. Click on it. Then a new web page will open, which we have to scroll down and keep scrolling until we see the versions for Android TV device. And now for your Fire Stick, as, as you can see, there are different versions for all kinds of Android devices. And for the Fire Stick, usually you need to use the ARM APK version at the very top. So we click on it. And now the download of Streamio to your Fire Stick will start. Usually it doesn't take long, but if your connection speed is slow, then it might take up to a minute. In my case, it will take around 10 or maybe 15 seconds to get the app as my download speed is pretty decent. And then after the app started, stopped downloading, we also of course have to install it to our device. So click install and just wait for Streamia to finish the installation process on your Fire Stick. And then I do not recommend clicking on open straight away. Instead, you should click done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't need anymore on your Fire Stick device. So just click on delete and delete once again. This way you save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And that's really important because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And then let's head back to the list of apps on your device. You open it and here at the bottom, you will find Streamio which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then a menu on the right side of your screen will appear and then press on move to front. This way Streamio will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it is going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just do not forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use the link below the video or in a pinned comment of this video to get three months of NordVPN free of charge. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.